So for the final two exercises in this set of drawings, uh, we're going to get a little bit more complicated. So to start off with, we're going to start with a rectangular prism. And your rectangular prism is in perspective. I'm going to give it some depth. Now you can keep all of these construction lines in your drawing and you can just render over the top of the blue line work. So that's my rectangular prism. Then what I want to do is divide some of these surfaces so that I can find the midpoint. Um, starting down here going to go from corner to corner, locate the midpoint, remembering that all of these vertical lines are running parallel to one another. I'm going to create a midpoint on this top surface. And where I have that midpoint, I want to have a line in perspective. Sorry, I've got a bump in my drawing pad. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you can see how I did that diagonals, keeping them as straight as possible and you can also do some diagonals down the back here if you think that that would help you. However, wherever that, that point is there we can actually drop a vertical line and that will locate the midpoint also. To begin with I'm going to start by locating a, an ellipse down the bottom here or a wave like so I'm going to assume that that cardboard piece or that manufactured piece has depth From this midpoint, I want to come a little bit further down, about there, and I'm going to create an arc shape. Let's spin my page around as I draw. Now the contours that I'm going to place in here are also in perspective. So they're going to go across here and they're going to dip down to suggest that that's a rounded form. So that's my contour there. At this intersection point or the tip of that arced surface, I'm going to also create an arc shape if 
So it looks something like that. In this case, I also want to create an arc at the back here. So it's higher than this surface here. So that's the top of the prism, the rectangular shape, and I'm going to go a little bit higher. So the contours that I use in this case, I'm going to extend the line at the back that's going to be one of my contours I've got a contour here dips down across I could add a contour somewhere in here goes across over and then across so I'm replicating the arc here that is shown at the back here so this surface is convex and this surface is concave and I might actually also put another contour line in through here Oops. just to show that there's a dip in here. I'll give this object some depth. My blue pencil is becoming a little bit blunt, but once we render it and do all these construction lines um, with Artliner, it will all become a lot clearer. Okay, so that's exercise seven.